Seems everyone is talking about open RAN these days, but what exactly does it mean? And is it really open? For years, mobile networking systems have used predominantly proprietary interfaces. That means one vendor solution didn't really play well with another vendor solution. This was never really an issue since, one, mobile networks evolved from larger monolithic systems that weren't clearly defined by fundamental building blocks. And two, there really wasn't a need for vendor interoperability as vendors typically won contracts based on entire regions rather than a particular role in the network. But times have changed, and like a senior with a weak bladder, mobile networking simply can't sit still. In a nutshell, the radio access network typically consists of three components. The baseband unit is where data from the core network is converted into a digital baseband signal. The radio resource head, formerly known as the radio resource unit or RU, takes that baseband signal, converts it to analog, modulates it up to a frequency that the operator is allowed to use, and amplifies it. Finally, the antenna converts the upshifted analog signal into a radio wave that can ultimately be received over the air by your device. In modern systems, the functionality of the baseband unit can be further broken down into a distributed unit that's closer to the cell sites and a centralized unit that's deeper in the network. This split allows networks to better match the performance requirements of different services. The network that connects the radio resource heads to the BBU is called Front Hall and to date uses a relatively standard interface based on SIPRI. The network that connects the BBU to the core network is called Backhaul, and it's typically over a standard IP interface. And the network in between the distributed and the centralized units? You guessed it, Midhaul. Open RAN is an evolution of the radio access network that aims to open up the RAN and convert it into well-defined functional units connected by open interfaces. The goal is to allow operators to mix and match equipment from different vendors and separate the more intelligent functions from essentially generic hardware elements that can be replaced with common off-the-shelf components. In some cases, this would allow some RAN functions to run on public cloud networks. And by doing all of this, OpenRAN hopes to improve efficiency, reduce costs, and stimulate innovation. But Vendors have been busy innovating at warp speed to create that secret sauce that lets operators squeak out every bit of network and spectrum efficiency. With Open RAN, all vendors will deliver the same baseline interoperability to meet whatever standards are defined. But they won't stop there. Instead, most vendors will likely race forward to create their own signature dish. And it's these fine tunings that really turbocharge an operator's network. So it remains to be seen if Open RAN can really live up to its name. But I'm willing to keep an open mind. Thanks for watching. No, 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 the version I have, it, it only runs on Mac OS. No, no, it, it doesn't work on Windows. It doesn't work on Windows.